Well, hello, my friends, it's Sean Petit, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look at these three cuties we're doing today. So um, I'm back with some more goodness from our, from the new stencils and to use up some of the collage papers that we created in the last couple videos. Out here on my table, I have a piece of um, rice paper or sumi paper, and it's it's gorgeous color of like pattern paper. Um, and I wanted to kind of grungy it up a little bit more, of course. I've never used it like this before. Um, so I've just got some Liquitex acrylic ink out and I'm just kind of wetting it down. And I probably should not have wet it down as much as I did, um, but I didn't really know exactly what I was doing. I just knew that I wanted kind of that grungy um, tone in the background underneath my focal points for these three projects that we're going to be doing today. So I'm just kind of layering it up, uh, just kind of letting it do its thing, soaking, soaking it in. Now this paper, this is um, handmade that I got and it is very delicate. And you're gonna see that um, as I start putting everything down, even after it's dry. Um, so uh, I'll, it, it's still gorgeous and I still love it and we'll use it, but I'll probably use it in a slightly different way. But oh my goodness, I just, Love it, love how it adds the grungy effect to the three pieces that we're working on. So I've kind of got my acrylic ink down and I was trying to get it to spread out a little bit more and maybe to pool or get some drops and some real interesting marks in it. And um, I'm just dropping my inks and oh, so good. And I've got a ton of it left over after doing it like this, so I can't wait to use it in some other projects. But I'm just kind of lifting it up and you can see it's starting to tear already and it's just so incredibly fragile. And, um, but it's, st it's still perfectly fine. I just needed to let it dry <laughs> and not touch it. I wanted to see it though. See how gorgeous it is. It looks like a tea bag now or it looks like old pattern paper so here's our first project we're working on an 8 by 10 MDF board and I've taken one of the collage sheets that we made over the last couple of days look at this is one of my favorites and here's that paper dried look at how gorgeous that is and I just took that collage sheet that we made and just stuck it straight down cut it so it would fit and look at how gorgeous this is. And you're gonna see how quick and easy these projects are once you've got some really yummy collage papers made with your gel plate. So I've just got some of that um, sumi, sumi paper and then a random bit of um, uh, vintage paper. And I'm putting that all down with my Liquitex Fluid Matte Medium. Now, again, this paper is super delicate. It's even more delicate than regular tissue paper and or regular rice paper and you'll see it's parts of it are going to come off and i just kind of clumped it up and lumped it up and it just added to the yumminess and the texture and everything really really gorgeous I just kind of pushed all the bits and pieces together and um, put my paper down and then kind of stuck that little yummy edge down at the bottom and look it tore too um, but it all added to the goodness i think and um, the key is just getting lots of fluid matte medium down and making sure that it's all covered so that it's going to stay in its place. And um, I typically will lay my towel down and kind of pick things up, some of that matte medium up. And so it pulled some of the paper up, but I wasn't worried about it. It looks so good. So here's one of the new stencils. It is the Little Flowers, uh, Little Flowers Baby's Breath. Um, stencil and I know that these are soon going to be favorites uh, they're gonna work in all kinds of look at how cute that is I just used some black paint and just kind of put that down and then I'm just kind of lifting it up and I'm gonna do the same process for each piece so I'm going into more detail on this one and then um, you'll kind of just see the process as I move through each piece I've got some butterflies and butterflies are the theme and also it because of the butterflies, I was able to find some wonderful quotes from some vintage children's books that will be kind of the focal point. Um, but these are vintage butterfly images that I have from some of the collage packs in the shop. 
Um, and this is just something that I, I cut from a vintage child's book and put it down and love it. It says, float gracefully through the air. And you'll see each one kind of has this kind of butterfly theme. And I chose butterflies that kind of went with um, what was going on in the, in the collage paper in the background. But look at how quickly this came together. Just because we already had our collage paper done, um, we had our fun with our gel plate and just kind of played. And so I'm put, I put all of the other ephemera down with my Liquitex, Liquitex Fluid Matte Medium. And now I'm just going to do some scratchy lines around my um, little flowers uh, stencil here. Do a little bit of shading. Not much. I don't have to do hardly anything to this. It was so simple and easy and fun. And I love that. You could do this on a journal page as well. I decided to create some originals for the shop this way. And um, I just love it. My pencil marks are super light. I didn't want to, this, this collage paper was one of my favorites that I got from my all of my gel plate um, fun. And so I just didn't want to take too much away from it. But that um, sumi paper in the background that's kind of stained and the kind of grungy look that I've got going on with the um, uh, gel plate or gel print collage paper. I just love it. Adding a few marks with my soft pastel, bringing in some of my favorite colors. And some of the color, there's a little bit of teal in that background and then in the butterfly to kind of pull everything together. Um, and just kind of playing. And it was just so relaxing and easy and I just loved it. And um, that gel plate uh, print pattern in the background is also one of the new stencils that we played with. And I'm trying to match some of that pink and orange color. I don't quite get it exactly right, but I was, I was happy with it. Adding a little bit of white soft pastel to my branches to just kind of give them a touch of highlight. You could use a pen, um, Neo color, you could use all kinds of things. Pastel pencil, adding just a couple little bit of white highlights, just white, bright. Um, white helps neutralize and brighten and kind of unify things. And so it just adds a little bit of pop here and there. And that's really all there is to this piece. Uh, super easy and fun using our uh, gel plate prints. I'm shading the edge as I typically do with most of my work and that's it. Just so yummy good. I added some black and some brown around the edges just for a little bit of drama. Grunginess. Okay, on to the next piece. This is a combination of a couple of collage papers that, and again, some of my favorites. And so I put those down with my um, fluid matte medium. And now I'm, now I'm taking some more of that paper, that Sumi paper, and I'm being a little bit more gentler this time and putting that down again. So it's a backdrop to my focal point. It really draws the eye to that spot. And um, I'm kind of extending it a little bit more um, and all the way to the top and the bottom. And then another piece of um, ephemera or vintage papers. And then this is the other little flowers stencil. It is status. Then my quote from the book that says strong enough to fly and some more vintage butterflies. And so you can see the process is the same. The look is different. The background papers, they make it. They just, um, again, these are some of my favorite ones and I combine them because I, some of this, you know, sometimes you get a jelly 
uh, print, gel print that it like some parts are good and some aren't. And so I just took my favorite parts of a couple of them and put them together. Made me happy. Again, trying to match some of the color from the butterflies to the papers in the background. Doing some sketchy, scratchy lines with my charcoal pencil. And we're going to kind of do the same process um, on, on, the next, on this one and then the next one. This is the Abstract Layers uh, 4 stencil. Putting a little bit of um, brown in my with my soft pastel around the edges. Shading the edges. And I will add a little bit more um, shading and some highlight um, with my white soft pastel. Pretty much the same process. Super fun, quick, and easy with those wonderful papers. So this is a great way to use up your um, collage papers. So here's another combination of some of my favorites from the um, session that we did. And because that some of the background was real, real white, I wanted to kind of neutralize this a little bit. And so I'm using a little bit of beige that I used in some of the um, gel printing sessions and some gray because I want to grungy this up a little bit. I was getting a little bolder about what I was looking for. And so I just wanted to grungy it up a little bit. Using my brayer to kind of brayer that out. And the paint had kind of dried and so I got it wet and just kind of moved it around a little bit. I've got a little bit of gray that I'm putting on my brayer, kind of brayering that out. But all those um, patterns in the background are all part of the new stencils in the shop. So now that I've got the background um, done, I'm adding some more of my yummy papers with my Liquitex Fluid Map Medium. And this is the Little Flowers um, Grass and some more text from a book, Pleasant Flutter of Expectation. This stencil here, the splat and splatters, or no, the swoosh, <laughs> swoosh and what is it called? Oh Lord, swish and splat. I think this one's going to be a favorite of mine because the scrolly, swirly things and the splatters. Mm. So when I put the splatters down, of course, they were very dark and I didn't, I, you know, I wanted them to be softer. So I just sprayed them with a little bit of water and kind of picked them up. And once I did that, it was exactly the way that I wanted it to look. It looked like I just dropped some ink on there or something. Perfect. So if you have one splatter, then why not have more? So the uh, little flowers stencils were all taken from vintage flower drawings and I just love them. 
So I start once I started kind of uh, watering some of that down, I took my sponge that I had stenciled with and kind of um, touched up the edges and it was so grungy good that I loved it. So I just kind of went with it. Just doing my scratchy lines on my stenciling here, making it feel very unique and connected, adding my shading. And again, I'm trying really hard to be delicate here because I don't want to take away too much from the gorgeousness of the background and the focal points, the imagery. Just a few marks here and there with my charcoal pencil. And some highlights and we are just about done. Three projects real quick super easy and fun a great way to use your collage papers your gel prints um, just so much fun and so easy so um, i hope you enjoyed today's project and if you did subscribe and like and um, there are three other i believe uh, videos two other videos <laughs> that I did with um, gel printing and collage papers, and I will see you uh, tomorrow or on Sunday.